Our God is a mighty God. He's the creator, he's strong, he's the one who provides, and he's the God who heals. That's God's character, and honestly, that's even the name he goes by. Let me see if I can explain. You see, the other night, our family sat down to dinner, and honestly, it's pretty common for there to be conflict almost every single time we sit down for dinner, but it's not over who sits where or even the fact that someone may have gotten a bigger serving size than the other person, but you know what it's over? It's conflict over who gets to pray for dinner. And honestly, I don't mind that kind of contention. If that's our biggest struggle at the dinner table, well then I'm okay with that. But the other night, Liam, my little redheaded boy, he won the day and it was his turn to pray. And he kind of always has this routine prayer that he prays. It goes like this, Dear God, thank you for this meal. Help it make us healthy and strong. In Jesus' name, amen. So as Liam was about to pray, Liam said, Dear Alexa, Alexa? <laughs> we all burst out laughing because it had been a little tense over who was going to pray, but because Liam was so used to talking to our little Amazon Echo Dot, he, he got a little confused. But it got me thinking about the name of the one to whom we pray. You see, when we pray, we're praying to our Father, our Dad. That's what Jesus told us in, in Matthew chapter 6 when he said, this is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. You see, Jesus says God is your Father, and God's name, well, it's like no other. You see, many of the names in the Bible, the names of God, describe a different aspect of his character. In the book of Genesis, we're told that God created the heavens and the earth, and that the name of God is Elohim, which means creator, mighty, strong. And even interestingly enough, that name, the name Elohim, well, it's plural, which speaks to the reality that our God is truly three in one, Father, Son, and Spirit. Maybe you've heard the name before, Jehovah Jireh, or Yahweh Jireh. Well, that's another name of God in the Bible. It's found in the account of Genesis chapter 22. And that's where God provided to Abraham a ram to be sacrificed in place of his son Isaac. This name means the Lord will provide. Also, Jehovah Rapha is another name that, of God that means the Lord who heals. It's used in the book of Exodus to show that God is the one who heals us by preserving us from diseases, both in the body and the soul. So as you pray this week, as you cast your cares and even your concerns to God, or maybe you even say a little prayer over a meal, know that our God is a mighty God, that he's creator, that he's strong, and that our God is the one who provides. He's the one who heals. See, that's God's character, that's his name, and that name is way better than Alexa.